Here we are at Ramside Golf Course, one of the most picturesque holes, the 12th hole, par 3, really difficult. Played it years ago when my son was just a junior, when the course first opened up. And it is a lovely course. If you don't, if you haven't played Ramside before, it's a bit expensive, but pop along and try the new course. It is really nice. The old course is great as well. But hopefully Sunderland can get a hole in the goal today. Hole in one, hole in the goal. I don't know what I'm saying. But hopefully Sunderland can win 4-1 today. It's my score prediction. Down at Wimbledon, not tennis, not golf, but football. Yes, Sunderland need to start taking victories. Lee Johnson's side need to start producing the results. Hopefully Carl Winchester today, shotgun. Shotgun starting golf, I think. Yes, Carl Winchester, the shotgun, can pull the strings in the centre of the park and we will take three points today. Yes, I'm sure Winchester's a rifle, not a shotgun. And hopefully we can win today, get three points. Somewhere down here is where Defoe used to live, down at Ramside Park. Lovely, luxurious <laughs> houses, way beyond my, my methods of payment. There's no way I could afford one of these, unless I won the lottery tonight. Hopefully, if Carl Winchester starts the day, he can open his account with three points for Sutherland. And yes, hit Wimbledon for six. Fifteen, love? No, no, not cricket, not golf, football. As you can see, it's half past twelve. I'm about to start my live stream, and yes, Sunderland team news today. Gooch is not even on in the squad. We don't know if Winchester's 100% fit, so we have to believe in the coach, the head coach, Lee Johnson. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to believe in Lee Johnson. I still believe we can get a victory today. And 4 1 away wins what I said. Now, here's a couple of squad predictions from Wincy and his kids, and hopefully they're correct as well. I know we all can't be correct, but at the end of the day, if, if Carl Winchester comes on off the bench, and he scores in his first appeal of Sunderland. He'll get nicknamed Carl Winchester the Rifle because he always hits the target. Afternoon, Terry. My score prediction for this afternoon. Wimbledon 1, Sunderland 2. The goal scorers Charlie Wyke and Ian McGeady. Oh. Right, John, what's your score prediction for today? I'm going to go 3 1 Sunderland. And who's going to score? McGeady 2, and I'm going to say. Max Power. Right. Kyla, your score prediction? Um, 2-1 to Sunderland. 2-1 to Sunderland? Yeah. You think, you think it'll play good? Uh, yeah. Right. And we're live! Come on! So well, there is the predictions from Wincy and Wincy's family, and it is only 35 minutes to kick off. Now, I want to give a couple of shout-outs. It's one of Mr. Brown's boys, yes. Big Andy Richmond from Fence Houses watches me vlog. Thank you, Andy. Take care. And hopefully, it'll be happy news today. Big Andy, keep watching. And, on the, and off Instagram, he likes watching the videos. His YouTube channel is called Sharky HD. There's your shout out, young lad. Thank you for watching the videos. Bunch of Portsmouth fans who love watching me vlogs all the way down at the South Coast. I do wish Portsmouth all the best for the rest of the season. And these, this shout out to a very special crew. Yes, it's Queen Alexandra Hospital. Some of the work is at Queen's Alexandra Hospital. Watch the live, watch the live streams, watch the vlogs, yes, so watch the vlogs. And we all know the great job that the hospital workers do at this moment in time in extreme difficult circumstances. So I wish them all the best down there, Queen's Alexandra Hospital, and hopefully you all take care. And again, hopefully you'll come just behind Sunderland in second place when Sunderland win the league. <laughs> As we, uh, as we fully say, oh, by yesterday, probably not this season. Pro Portsmouth have more chance of winning the league this season than Sunderland getting in the playoffs. Here we go again. Here we go again. This is halfway through the vlog. What a stupid thing to say. Right, it's finished. AFC Wimbledon nil, Sunderland three. And to be fair, AFC Wimbledon, the difference between AFC Wimbledon and Sunderland was the hack trick. He wrote Charlie Wake. Unbelievable. Can you imagine actually seeing these words in the past? Charlie Wake hack trick. Let's start off with Charlie Wake. We're going to talk about Charlie Wake. Charlie Wake, for me, is a kind of player. If you can get the ball to his feet in the box without him having to take a touch, he'll score a goal. If you get the ball to his head in the box without Having to take a touch, he can score a goal. Today, Charlie White was 10 out of 10. Yes, I'm going to give him 10 out of 10. 
Anybody who gets a hat-trick deserves 10 out of 10. The difference between Sunderland and Wimbledon the day was we had somebody in the box who could put the ball in the back of the net. Charlie Wake, you know, Will Grigg would have missed them. Aidan O'Brien couldn't do the business. I said, we do need a striker to back up Charlie Wake, but Charlie Wake, the first goal was good play from Grant Ledbetter. We're starting to positive. Good play from Grant Ledbetter. Put the ball to Embleton, Embleton down to Aidan O'Brien, cuts it across, one touch, back of the net, tap in for Charlie Wake. Second goal, and I can't even remember the second goal, which is it, it's shocking to me. But what I do know was the ball was put in the box, Charlie White, one shot, back of the net. Third goal, Scowen put the ball through into the penalty box. He ran two strides right hand side and he put the ball at the back of the net, one touch. Charlie White, three touches in the box, three goals. Now that's the 100% positive play from Charlie White. Now, if Charlie White has to run with the ball, or has to have his back at goal in the box, he can't control the ball, take a couple of touches and turn, because he's too slow. He's too slow to chase the ball, he's too slow to run with the ball in the box, he's too slow to have a touch and another touch in the box. But, Charlie White has the ability to be in the box at the right time, the Johnny on the spot, the Johnny on the spot, if he can feed the ball to his feet, he will score the goal. So for me, Charlie White deserves 10 out of 10. Brilliant from Charlie White. Now, I'm going to go through the rest of the team. Burgeon goal. Solid display. 7 out of 10. Power right hand side. Max Power. Luke goal 9 for me will be better on the right hand side. Uh, 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 right hand side, right back. You know, and the right hand side of the player. I don't even know. It's only my third can. I know it's only 3 o'clock on my third can. I don't know what I'm thinking about. But Power is right back. For me, Luke 09 would be better as right back. Power, he's young in that position, but he gives the ball away too much. Right, Bailey Wright, don't ever shoot because you can't score from outside the box. But in a defensive position, he did okay, seven. Mac Fadzen, for me, left hand side was poor. Give the ball away too much, give too many fouls away. Mac Fadzen only gets a five. Willis, for me, was one of the better players on the pitch. He did give the ball away early days a few times, but for me, I'm going to give Willis a seven and a half. He played well. Willis is getting back from, it's hard to play when you're injured. Willis is now finally fit. He's getting back, he's grown with every game. And for me, Willis is going to be solid in defense. He does what it says on the tin. He defends. You need a proper defender in there with a bit of pace to get in to win the ball and that's what Willis does. Willis has more pace than Rice. Willis will help out Rice where needed. Rice, right where needed. So yes, Willis, well done Willis today. It's the best display from Willis this season. Embledon, apart from the one pass to Aidan O'Brien, had a poor game. He couldn't pass the ball. He didn't do much at all and was taken off early days, 57 minutes for shotgun, rifle, Winchester. Ledbetter was the better of the midfield. Ledbetter was the one ingenious pass through to Embleton who passed it to O'Brien for Charlie Wyke. And again, Ledbetter with the corner. That was his, that was the second goal. Finally, remember now, a Ledbetter corner. Ball comes in the box, right hand side, Sonnen's right, ball in the box, front post, Charlie Wyke volley. What a volley from Charlie Wyke. On the right hand side, right foot, bang, keeper was like this, defending his face. Keeper, hapless, no chance. That was Charlie White's best finish this season. That was an amazing, sublime, brilliant from Charlie. Charlie, one touch, White was fabulous. That was great from Ledbitter again. Ledbitter, I'm going to give Ledbitter a seven and a half as well. Well played, Ledbitter. You were much better than your two other, you know, compadres, scowling, scowling. Where do I start, start with Josh Scowen? Scowen was terrible today. He was one of the worst players on the pitch. He could not pass the ball, and when he did, it was backwards. He lost the ball umpteen times. Josh Scowen, for me, was probably, I don't even know what it's said, Edmonton. A five for Scowen. Or was it a three? Or was it a two? Was Josh Scowen only a one? Josh Scowen was that bad today. I mean, I hope he plays better next match. I know Lee Johnson loves Josh Scowen, but... That was terrible from Josh Gaunt today. It was terrible. McGeady, again, huffed and puffed. 
trying to bring him with Mac Fadzen. McGeady didn't have a great game of six. White, ten. And O'Brien, oh, O'Brien, I'm going to give him a six and a half, so, so. We didn't play great. Wimbledon, for me, with a better side for the first 70 minutes. Wimbledon do have some, some light at the end of the tunnel. I hope they survive in League One. They did play really well. It was the final shot on target. They couldn't beat Burge. Most of the shots were either wide, hit the, hit the post, or went to Burge. They had, for me, the better position, better play, better determination, better passing. Wimbledon passed the ball better for the first 70 minutes. What changed the game? Winchester came on. I couldn't quite pick him up in the pitch. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sort of decide on Winchester today, but Jack Diamond came on. Jack Diamond on the right hand side, McGeady came off. How good is Jack Diamond running with that ball? Winning corners, getting the ball in the box, taking shots. Jack Diamond for me. You know, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for his last 20 minutes performance. Jack Diamond, for me, I can understand Lee Johnson bringing him on late on for an impact player. But we need this lad on from the start. This lad provides assists. He provides direct running. He has pace. Defenders are scared of him. He wins corners. He does everything for me much better than what Power tries to go and do forward. So me, Jack Diamond, was almost... Come on, in the last 20 minutes to change the game. Charlie Wright, 10 out of 10. Diamond, 8. Willis, 7.5. That's me first three. Wimbledon, hard lines. You're one down, you're going for the equaliser, and we're caught on the counter-attacks. And, yes, where do we move in the standings today? It's a good result. Wasn't a great performance. I'm not going to lie about it. Sunderland are in 8th place. But there's loads of nil-nil games. So we were in fifth place before the matches started. We were only, at this moment in time, we are four points behind Portsmouth. Three points behind Portsmouth. Six behind Hull. And we have a game in hand over Hull. And we are only nine points behind Lincoln with a game in hand. So, you know, there's plenty of games to go. We're not even halfway through the season. But we need Lee Johnson to somehow... Get this team to be able to do the basic football. Pass the ball. Lee Johnson, get the team to pass the ball. That's all we ask. We pass the ball to Charlie White. One touch, Charlie White. We'll put the ball in the back net. Again, again, I, I can't I can't compliment how well Charlie White's finishing was today. It was spot on. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. And again, I want to wish everybody in the NHS, especially from Queen Alexandra, Hospital in Hull, take care, stay safe, and may God go with you. See you later.